How's everyone doing? Happy Saturday. Hope everyone is uh, doing well, being safe out there and enjoying this extra time with the loved ones, which is great. Um, and I'll start off by saying, you know, we're doing our part here still in the market. You know, we are still trying to service our clients the best we can, but, you know, we're, we really uh, understand the importance of social distancing, though, and uh, being safe out there while we're still doing our job. And, uh, finding different ways and using different tools to do it. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you a recap of what the market did do in the last week. Uh, Cause that's something we kind of uh, said we're gonna try to do every week for you. And uh, we wanna continue doing that. So like we look at the market in the last week, we saw 40 homes still come on the market though. Uh, 35 sold, only three, no, four came off the market. And uh, we had 11 price adjustments. You know, we look back at the numbers last week we had 65 new homes come on the market, 47 sold. Actually, six came off the market two weeks prior before we had all this stuff happen, and there was only eight price reductions. So we actually haven't seen the market so far change a whole lot, you know, because the grand scheme of things is, is you know, if you sold your house two weeks ago and you got to be out in 60 days, is you still have to move. And so we're trying to facilitate that for people as much as possible by taking, you know, we're social distancing, being safe, uh, doing a lot of it remotely, a lot of it virtually now, which is great. So, you know, if a client goes, hey, we really need to see inside this house, that would be a good, good fit for us. Uh, you know, we can walk them through um, via like Facebook Messenger or Skype so they get a good idea of the home. And then, uh, you know, if they really need to come out and see it because they have to move, um, we take the necessary steps, make sure it's hand sanitized and, and cleaned and everything like that. With that being said, you know, it, it, it's pretty impressive all the different industries that we work with, like bankers, movers, lawyers, how fast they've adapted as well, because we don't know how long this is going to take. We really don't. So let's just get tools in place now so we can do our job, make sure people that need to get moved can move still, but make sure it's being done safely. And, you know, I was talking to a mover this morning, runs a big moving company. I'm like, how are you guys doing it? What are you doing? He goes, we have a couple different options, but the big thing is, we're just being smart, we're being safe. Uh, if any of our workers are sick or have family members that have been sick, we're asking them to stay home. But when we come into the house, you know, we're wearing gloves, lots of hand sanitizer, lots of washing of our hands, a lot of um, wipes to wipe everything down as well and, and keep everybody safe. And I was like, that's great, you guys are taking that measure. Uh, you know, I was talking to another client the other day and what we did is we have a shipping container being dropped at their house two weeks before the closing date. They could pack it up themselves and then we have just uh, some movers coming and just move the heavy stuff in for them. And then when they go to the new house, the shipping container will be dropped off at the new house for them. And then they'll have another couple weeks with that shipping container so they can really take their time and, and do it that way as well. So, you know, you, you got to move, right? Some people, you just have to be out of the one house to get to the other. And that's just a step people are taking. Mortgage brokers, I was talking to a couple of them over the last few days saying how you guys are doing. And, you know, rates just dropped out, right? So call your mortgage person, get that pre-approval locked in, get it get it done. Like this is, the rates have been so low right now, like some banks can lock them in for 120 days. Uh, so it's a good opportunity there for some people too. Even if you were shopping, you've slowed down, call your bank, get those rates re-locked in. So you have them for um, the 120 days and they can do it just like this, all virtually with you, uh, over Zoom, over Skype, get it all locked in, verify your ID, and you never need to leave your house to do this now, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that goes, if you guys watched our live the other day about lawyers, lawyers now can do the whole transaction digitally from afar now. Before we used to have to meet with a lawyer in person and get your ID verified. Now the Law Society of Canada, they've come some changes so we can do this all virtually now. So that you could send them your ID, they have a video talk with you over Zoom, uh, whichever way they need to do it and verify your deal, get the whole deal closed. And then we can have uh, key arrangements being picked up from everyone as well. So, you know, if you do have to move and, and uh, you feel good about it, uh, reach out if you want some ideas of some precautions and some safety measures uh, we are taking uh, when dealing still with this thing right here. Because let's face it, at times, I guess we could become a bit of an essential service where where people have to facilitate their move, they still have to do it, but let's just do it safely, right? There's a safe way to do everything, and that's what we're really focused on right now is coming up with different ideas and different measures to be taken to make sure people still get serviced and they could still reach their goals. 
Um, so yeah, like reach out if you have any questions or if you want any lenders, lawyers, uh, movers that are taking these steps too, that are taking it serious and, uh, you know, can help facilitate your move as well. And, you know, everyone be safe though. Uh, practice social distancing. We've been pretty versed in it as well. Uh, for the last few days, hunkered down. I've never baked so much in my life and cooked. So the wife's been, uh, family's really been enjoying all the meals we've been having. Uh, be safe. Look after one another. Check on your neighbors. Make sure they're uh, they're okay and if they need anything. But anyway, have a great week. I'll be back on next weekend. I kind of give you an update of uh, where the market's been in the last week to see if we've had any of those changes really as we go into uh, week two of the social distancing here in uh, Ontario. Really, that's where I'm. That's where I am. If anyone doesn't know who I am uh, or where I am, so, anyways, people, reach out if you have any questions or whatever. Put Sean on your line still, and have a good day.